Welcome to our podcast, where we cover interesting and fascinating stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss UK Boys Skull Implant Cuts Epilepsy Seizures by 80%. Epilepsy, an incurable neurological condition, affects over 50 million people worldwide. Although 70% of people with epilepsy manage to get by with medication and surgeries, the disease prevails as a great neurological tribulation for others with severe symptoms. But a recent trial offers new hope. In World First, a 13-year-old British boy with severe epilepsy trialed a new brain implant fitted in the skull aimed at bringing seizures under control. Sending electrical signals deep into his brain, the neurotransmitter has reduced Oren Nolson's daytime seizures by 80% as per a BBC report. Oren had developed Lennox-Gastort syndrome, a treatment-resistant form of epilepsy, at the tender age of three years, anguishing with dozens to hundreds of seizures each day throughout his life. Sometimes the seizures would take an appalling turn, where he fell to the ground, shook violently, and lost consciousness. At times, he would cease to breathe and require emergency medication to resuscitate him. After an eight-hour-long surgery to implant the neurotransmitter in Oren's skull as part of a trial at Great Ormond Street Hospital in London, the boy's life began to change for the better. Epilepsy seizures are triggered by abnormal bursts of electrical activity in the brain. By emitting a constant pulse of current, the device aims to block or disrupt the abnormal signals. After two electrodes were inserted deep into Oren's brain, the 3.5 cm square and 0.6 cm thick neurotransmitter was placed in a gap in Oren's skull where the bone had been removed and was anchored into place. After a month of recovering from the operation, the neurotransmitter was turned on. Oren cannot feel the device when turned on and can recharge it every day via wireless headphones while enjoying activities he likes to do, such as watching TV. Dramatical improvement in his seizures. Quality of life. Seven months after the surgery, his mother Justine told the BBC that there had been a massive improvement in Oren's epilepsy. He was happier, more alert with no drop seizures during the day, and had a much better quality of life. His nighttime seizures were also shorter and less severe. As part of the trial, Three more children with Lennox-Gastort syndrome will be fitted with the deep brain neurostimulator. Although deep brain stimulation has been tried before for childhood epilepsy, the procedure was fraught with the risks of infections after the surgery and the device failing, as neurotransmitters were placed in the chest with wires running up to the brain. In the future, the trial team plans to make the neurotransmitter respond in real time to brain activity in order to block seizures before they happen. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more. Comment box and subscribe to us for more.